Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I'm filming this um, intro at the end of the day, which I normally don't. But because I forgot about it, I was rushing early on in the morning, so I didn't um, film the intro. So right now I'm going to film it, so yeah. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to talk to you guys about this Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation, which I got from the... Black Friday sales and yes it has been a long time but because um, when I order it during the sales it was out of stock and it can only ship I think maybe I can't remember maybe two weeks later and um, yeah and I ship it to a um, I ship it to Bottlings before it was sent to um, my place and I kept it there for a while because I was still thinking of getting some other stuff from the US but in the end, I didn't get any, so I just only got it recently. And I've been trying this foundation for three days now. Um, and for the first two days, I really like it. And um, I'm going to demo for you guys, like which I've already pre-recorded uh, initially, that I'm going to show you guys how the whole foundation is throughout the day. Um, and provide you guys with a hopefully more detailed um, review for this one and the color that I am in or I bought is Warm Natural and it looks like this so um, this is my first ever stick foundation I've never tried it before and um, I mean never come across liking stick foundation but I feel like I mean, it's good to try everything, and also because they say like cream foundation are usually more long lasting than liquid, um, and other stuff. So I thought I should give it a try. And also, this product is marketed to be for oily skin, and I have a pretty oily T zone, which I don't really like. So, and I hope that certain foundation can work on this area where it doesn't fade off and anything like that. So that is that. So I got it, and then, um, yeah, so um, I've already packed my face and um, primer and everything, so now I'm going to go straight into the foundation test. So if you guys are wondering why I keep looking into this direction, it's because my mirror is over here and I have to check um, if I did apply it evenly. I think it's a perfect match, but for some reason, I think it's very sheer in coverage. Yeah, I just, I just find it so sheer in coverage to be completely honest with you guys. Very sheer for the first layer. And the amount of layer I put is this much. Yeah, so usually I put on two layers. I tried this before with another primer and a um, without primer as well. So I kind of really test this foundation out. And this is actually the second time I am recording the demo because I washed it halfway off yesterday. Um, because I haven't had exercise and I have to bathe badly so um, I took it off after I exercise um, it was I think 5 hours of wear and I was sweating and everything everything kind of still looked good definitely looked good but it was just too hot for me not to bathe and carry on doing the review with you guys so yeah so this is after one layer so it did cover up but as you guys can see there's some veining situation here which didn't really 100% cover everything up so um, for me usually uh, when I'm going out I think this amount of coverage is this one because it just needs some color and some tapping of my discoloration around my eye area and all that so for me one layer is enough but if you guys like the kind of more um, beautiful more medium coverage I think you guys have to go in for a second time and I'm going to go in the second time at areas which I think I need a bit more, especially the veining area. Some redness around the nose. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to pat it in. So I think the second layer did, did reduce the veining by quite a bit. But as you guys can see, um, there's still some that are not covered up. And my little freckle over here is not covered up as well. The scar over here is not really 100% covered too. So I'm just going to pat a bit more. Okay. And on the forehead, I'm going to take a little bit of foundation. Okay. So 
I think um, it looks good now. <coughs> I'm gonna warm them with my fingers. I'm gonna put around this eye area here to cover them up with that suckers. I think it's really good. If you guys don't have a lot of dark circles to cover up um, or whatsoever, right? This one is good for like everyday use because you can just use this and just kind of warm it with your fingers and then apply it on key areas. And even though the coverage is like almost like a medium, only like a medium, you're medium full at the very most, um, I don't feel the need to conceal any more other parts even though from the mirror and from the viewfinder I find that I look um, decent I don't think I need concealer so I mean if I'm running errands or I'm just going for like short trip holiday you know so I don't need a ton of coverage I don't need to attend any um, functions or anything like that this is actually okay for me like I can really do work with this one So I'm gonna use a brush like that. I'm gonna finish up my rest of my. I'm gonna finish up the rest of my makeup. I'm gonna powder everything in, and I'm gonna use my new Anastasia contour kit. I'm so excited. But um, I didn't expect it to be so small to be honest. Every time people you know raise that in the screen and all that, it's so big. But when I had it, when I saw it, I'm like, oh, so small. I can't even really set it. You can't really set your eyes also. Like, I thought it could be kind of like a setting powder when I'm doing overseas with me when I'm traveling. But apparently, no, oh, it's so tiny. Okay, I'm using a banana shade to kind of brighten up a little bit, but I don't see any specific like ultra brightening or, or anything of that sort. But um, I'm just gonna brighten, and then I'm gonna use my loose powder. Okay, actually, you know what? I'm gonna use normal loose powder because I wanted to use the no serum, but I wanted to really test this foundation out if it's really for oily skin that much um, but I'm just probably going to put on some um, light blusher and all that but to kind of make sure everything kind of locks it in carefully to see how the, the foundation I want to become Korean I want to see how the foundation kind of hold up my cheek like my blushes and everything I am not going to put a base underneath because usually I'll put a base um, underneath my blush so that everything's kind of more long lasting I'm going to use my MAC blush Okay, I'm just gonna sit on. okay, so um, I'm done with my makeup and this is the final look. So please don't mind this thing, I'm gonna clear this up after I record this part. So yeah. So this is the final look and we shall see how this thing wears throughout the day and I'll check back with you guys at the end of the day. First thing is the color match. I think this color match me perfectly. I'm about to see 25 to about 30 sometimes when I'm tenor. Um, but uh, mind also mind that I'm also a bit on the olive side. Yeah, usually foundation that are neutral, like warm shades are too warm for me, and then cool tones are just too gray, and then neutral shades are like it's like neither there or it's like it's not there and it's not it's just weird so I'm a bit olive um, and this shade is really good for olive skin tones I think it's really good um, like maybe a light olive or something like that and um, coverage wise it's about a medium to if you were to build it up it's about medium full um, one layer it's just um, normal coverage it's just like a light almost medium kind of coverage usually I'll need two however I don't think I need to layer it to three or 
anymore because um, the finish of the foundation is good um, after you powder and everything it's it's kind of nice however I find that if you were to kick up too much maybe you become cakey like what it did to my under eyes because the past two days when I put on um, just to run errands it's really good it didn't cake up too much but today I did put nicely so that it's like more covered up um, so that I can go to town um, however I think it is very cakey all the powder that I've set is kind of really gross like it's all breaking up the foundation is breaking up the powders are clinging to areas which I don't like emphasizing all the little imperfection I have on the under eye area I don't like it um, it's pretty oily on my t-zone as you guys can see I powder it once it's not like the best so um, this foundation I think uh, if you guys are in I'm not sure to give this guy a try or not. I mean, it's an affordable um, foundation. But if you're talking about a foundation that you must have in your kit or a foundation that it's so holy grail, um, it is not this foundation in particular. I just think that there's other better foundations out there. Um, yeah, but for the price, I think it's okay. So if you guys are into stick foundation and you guys want to try and all that, Yes, you guys can give this a go, but um, it's not to the extent where you guys have to run out of the house and get it. In. Yeah, so I mean, if it's on sale or if you guys are just like, you know what, I'm just gonna give it a try, then you guys might want to pick this up and try it for yourself. Um, but overall, I think it is just an okay foundation. So probably like, yeah, it's just a foundation which I think. Um, it can be missed. It's like, it's like, it's not really like a foundation that I can do, I cannot do without. So, yeah. Um, okay, so I'm just going to zoom in for you guys to see what I meant. So, can you guys see this area here? So all these little dots, okay, a lot of the foundation are actually grabbing onto all these areas. And you guys can see that the foundation did settle down here even though I powdered it quite a lot. Um, and usually for foundation, once I powder it's okay, I don't really have to bake them. And I'm not sure if you can see, but my pore areas are kind of having the foundation breaking up there, sinking into my pores. Nose foundation are completely rubbed off. And yeah, but you guys can see that my highlight is still there. Coverage of my fine veins are still hanging there. It's fading a little bit, but not that bad. Yeah, so this is Yeah, so this is the review of this Anastasia stick foundation and I hope you guys enjoy it and I will see you guys soon. Bye bye.